One of the pages included in the new um, learning reports this year um, is a, a report from ASTL. Uh, ASTL stands for um, Assessment Tool for Teaching and Learning. Um, and it's a test that children take, it's a reading test that children take um, in term one and again later on in the year. Um, and the reports are quite complicated and quite um, tricky to understand, so I'm just going to explain um, the various elements of the, um, of the report um, so that you can understand it when you're talking through it with your children, seeing what their next steps are. So if we look down the middle of the, um, of the report here, um, we've got a, a scale there um, which shows uh, scores for, um, for the overall test. Um, the blue block at the bottom, um, going up to around about 500, is the New Zealand average. Um, so most children in New Zealand um, are sitting there at about just under 500 uh, as a score for this particular test. Um, and then the red um, oval there shows um, where this individual, this, this child, um, sat on this particular test. So they're pretty much on the, on the average um, for New Zealand. Uh, down the bottom there, there's three, um, three gauges, and those gauges um, again show uh, progress against the, the national average. Um, so the blue um, segment uh, is the national average, and then the red, red dial shows where this child um, uh, attained in those particular areas of the test. Now the coloured areas um, sometimes cause a little bit of confusion. Um, basically it's split into two, two halves, the correct side and the incorrect side. So from the correct side, um, it shows in the yellow box the strengths, the things um, which the child did particularly well and perhaps did above expectation in. Um, so they're, they're the areas of um, particular strengths. Underneath that are the areas that they achieved, um, which we'd expect them to achieve um, for the level they're at. Um, on the right hand side, um, is the uh, the incorrect side, um, so that's the to be achieved. So they're the things that um, the child child needs to work on next to move up through the levels. Um, they're things that perhaps we wouldn't expect them to have achieved um, in this particular test given their level. They're, they're the things they need to work on next. And then the red box down the bottom right hand corner are the gaps. They're the things that the um, the child missed out, um, or the areas that we would perhaps have expected them to achieve, but they didn't. Um, so possible gaps in their learning there. Uh, the numbers which come after each of those um, descriptions um, refer to the questions on the test, and so that's a. Uh,